Hey everyone, Screen913 here with another update. I know, right? Like, lots of stuff going on tonight. Um, first and foremost, I want to say that there will be no more... No, no more. No Batman Arkham City or Dragon Age Origins this weekend due mostly to the fact that I never stopped playing Metal Gear Solid 3. It, you, you know how it is. You start playing a game and then you realize, Oh, look at the time! It's been like 12 hours. I've never stopped playing. Uh, so... I I sorry I sorry guys. Uh, so this week we'll have lots of Metal Gear Solid Three, <laughs> no Arkham City or Dragon Age Origins. Um, sorry, that that'll continue up next week. Uh, also regarding uh, the Shogun Two Total War idea, uh, we have big updates on that. Looks like Claude Rebel and I are going to be the uh, clan daimyos, I guess is what you would say. The, the two people actually, you know, the, the kings, so to speak, the daimyos. It'll be me versus Claude Rebel, and we will each need a, a, a group of advisors. Now, I want to see what you guys think of this, because I think this would be kind of a fun idea, but the last thing I want to do is cause some sort of insult to anyone somewhere. So, the idea is, um, since Rebel is living in Wales at the moment, and I live in Texas, wouldn't it be kind of neat if Rebels team was on like the west side of the Atl or east side of the Atlantic, you know, Europe, England, that area, and my team of advisors were from like North America, Canada, America, you know, Brazil. Do we have anyone that watches from Brazil? <laughs> maybe, maybe we might. You never know. And that way, it's kind of like a uh, 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 east versus west kind of thing. I think that might be kind of fun. I want to get your opinions, though, because I don't want anyone insulted or anything like that. Um, but that would basically mean all my advisors would be from my neck of the woods, and all of his advisors would be on his side of the ocean. Uh, and then they could be like, you bloody Yankees! And we could be like, you... What, what, do you, what do you call English people or Europeans? Uh, inadequate? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's got to be some crazy you know, insult that I, I'm just not a very insulting person, so I lack the vocabulary for. However, we have also uh, worked out a lot of um, how this would work, how this would play out. Um, here, here's the general principle of what we've worked out so far. Rebel and I would very soon, probably in the next week or two, uh, get together and start, uh, start the game and before the actual Let's Play starts, we would both conquer both sides of the map, or about half and half, so it's just our two clans. Um, you know, everything else is conquered by us, and we kind of split it up evenly. We'll have to figure out exactly how we do that. It shouldn't be too hard to do, because we can just give each other money and territories until we're both starting off on a basically even level. And then the idea would be to uh, destroy all the buildings, all the armies, like disband everything, uh, so that we all start off with an almost exactly clean slate. Obviously, keep enough so that people aren't rioting on you, but um, so that we start off on the same level of development and as lowly developed as possible. It'll be funny. All of Japan will have like no development, and 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 then uh, we start from there. And then it's a matter of who can build up the best, the fastest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, a lot of people are saying, why don't you just start? a game and go from there. Well, because for a couple of reasons. One, you know, if you have 18, 20 clans and only two of them are humans, 90% of your time is going to be fought fighting the computer, not each other. And that's not what the point of this is. Uh, otherwise, I just keep doing Third Age Total War. The point is to have a human group versus a human group, a uh, human clan versus a human clan. Uh, and secondly, um, I don't want this to be about diplomacy so much. Uh, I want this to be an epic war. I want this to be, well, because if we started off at, at, like that, just started it off, by the time the two actually faced each other, it's much more likely that one of them would be far stronger than the other, and that's not fun. I want this to be an epic struggle, where they start off with the same level of strength, and they're both very big, meaning to beat my opponent is not going to be a simple task. It's not going to be a simple matter of taking two or three, ter or even four territories. It's going to be a matter of beating them back 20 territories uh, and, and whoever wins wins through superior development military strategy and tactics I don't want this to be about whose friends and allies you have I want this to be about who outmaneuvered who who won what battle and who drove who into submission you know like good friends do <laughs> um, as far as the clans go we would need a uh, 
the king, obviously, which would be me and Claude Rebel, or the, uh, the daimyo, I guess. Um, a, a, a builder advisor, someone who advises what buildings to build. Uh, and uh, I guess they would uh, also, yeah, advise what buildings to build. A military instructor, or advisor, which would advise what troops to make, where... Um, no, 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 no. Uh, well, we, we'll have to work on it. But basically, um, we could either divide that up. We could have like uh, someone who who does buildings, what to build, what. Uh, yeah, I think that would be in the developers. I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. The guy, the building advisor, would build would decide what buildings to build, and what army units to make. Then you'd have a military advisor, which 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 takes those units that have been made, and uh, basically tells them where to go. He's like the strategist. He's the one that, that, that takes the armies, decides where to attack, what to attack, where, why, and how. Um, we actually might, it would be kind of fun to have maybe two. One for land units, one for naval units, but we'll, we'll work on that. We would need an agent advisor who controls ninjas, monks, and mitsuke. Um, and we would need one more person. Uh, and that person is the, the daimyo's aide. And what they do is, the idea would be that once a week, on one day a week, we, we get together for two hours and do the session. And since it's a co-op session, we have to both be there at the same time. So basically, Claude Rebel and I, one day a week, would get together for about two hours. We'd set like a 10-minute time limit per turn, and we would do our session. And um, we would would not be in a Skype call with each other. We would not really be communicating with each other, other than maybe like a text box that if we need to send each other a message, we can. Instead, uh, we would be screen sharing with our aide, who would help us. So it would help us with battle tactics, would help us, like, you know, remind us of, oh, this advisor wanted you to do that, and basically just someone to bounce things off of and stuff like that. Um, and that's how we would do it. Uh, and of course, I guess every week you'd also have a planning session between your advisors. And, and the way the advisors would run is everyone can advise. You know, we would all just get together and have a family meeting, basically. And everyone can advise every other one's department, but that advisor has final say in their department. In other words, the advisor of building could say, oh, I think you should attack this target. And why? But the decision is up to the military d advisor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and the way we would get around cheating is that we would record many, many sessions, like, you know, five or six at least sessions, and we would upload them privately for our advisors, but they wouldn't become public for quite some time. So by the time they become public, we're already so far beyond it that any strategy or tactics you would learn by watching your opponent's, uh, YouTube Let's Play wouldn't really be relevant anymore. That's the idea, anyway. So, and we're still developing this, but it looks like we're going to go through with it, and it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. So, as far as who's going to be on the advisor board, we don't know yet. We haven't even figured out if it's going to be an East versus West type thing, or how we're going to choose who goes where, but we'll figure it out. Um, and probably let you guys know. Alright, so... Toodles.